everyone. My name is Leslie Pike and I've been a professional glass engraver for 40 years. Eternal Tools have sent me some rubber burrs to try out. I shall put their link below for you. First up, I have got some rubber discs. They require a mandrel and uh, the mandrel will be a 2.35 millimeter shank which I'll use and here similarly we have some more rubber discs and let's see here I have this and unlike the others this is a fixed rubber burr so it does not require a mandrel it's quite smooth to touch which is interesting and uh, last but not least there we go and that is again not requiring a mandrel slightly more abrasive to touch so that'll be interesting okay righto let's have a go see what they do on glass here is a little mandrel which i am unscrewing the top of and this will go through the rubber disc and then screwed back into the mandrel. Helping it along with a very, very precious, very old and meaningful screwdriver. <laughs> Here I am preparing some shades of grey for you. This is a very soft white stone followed by a slightly rougher brown stone as you can see the grading is becoming lighter and this is a diamond uh, burr that is of a finer grit And finally, this one is a very coarse diamond burr. I'm just using a very simple glass um, drinks coaster. So with the first disc, I thought I would first try on the glass to see if it makes a mark. Very, very little, but I'll show you later. So across the main bit of engraving, you can see quite clearly that it does indeed make a mark. What it's doing is smoothing it out. So it's struggling a little bit with the coarsest and that does not surprise me, but it is working more effectively as we go towards the smoother burrs. And that is this particular one that I am using. Here is the next grade. It is slightly more abrasive, so I am expecting it to behave a little bit uh, more efficiently. And sure enough, that is pretty much chewing through all the grades of engraving. When I say all the grades, obviously there are many, many, many more, but I have just given you four different shades here. It's just roughed up the surface to varying degrees. Now, this one I am showing you a little bit more um, in depth what it will do on the glass. And there you can see quite easily that it creates a hue, which also can be very useful. Now we're going to try the fixed rubber burr that is slightly more abrasive. And first of all, I'm showing you that it does also create a slight hue on the glass by itself, not as much as the other one. This rubber is slightly softer and therefore it is going further into the engraving, not staying on the upper surface. And it is also quite impressive. 
You can see that it does wear away quite fast, just looking at the point of it. And here we have the light grey one. Just had a little quick look to see what it did to the other. And sure enough, this one is making a very gentle shade. It's struggling again with the harsh diamond at the end. But it is making quite a nice gentle mark on the smoother engraving. On its own, it does create a very slight hue on the glass, very slight. But you can see that it does create quite a lot of dust and even just by itself on the glass. And that is it wearing down incredibly fast. Yeah, I have prepared a deep groove in the glass, finished with a white stone and using the soft grey rubber again, I am demonstrating what it will do in the way of polishing, as in a final polish. That's not bad. This is the other side of the glass, of course. Here I have prepared a much smaller one again and uh, using the coarser burr. There is the code. That very quickly polishes quite effectively. There you go. That's not too bad at all. I'm quite impressed. They are certainly more effective on the softer engraving. Right, back to this disc again uh, that I used right in the beginning. I'm just going to create its own little area on the plain glass to see how effective it is on its own. Yeah, it does, it does make a little hue as well. It's always very interesting to test these things. And running back along there, you can see it doesn't go into the engraving. You can see the grooves of the engraving and it jumps across the upper surface. So I'm going to take the softer burn. I just want to see if I can vaguely demonstrate how this goes more effectively into the engraving, albeit a very gentle hue. So there you go. You can certainly have a lot of fun with these rubber burrs and others from Eternal Tools. Don't forget to like and subscribe for many more of my videos. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye for now.